Welcome back. And we are back for our second series of the night. A very exciting series as well. We're going to be sticking with a Southeast Asian team, but we also have the Western European powerhouse in Team Secret. Attention on trying to slow down jabs. It doesn't give you a gold. Pretty big wave though. No, it doesn't give you gold. But it's going to stop some of the experience to help with the damage now with this dive attempt. Oh, he's going to run straight to Puppy, and it looks like it's about to work into Secret's favor. Afu's even going to rotate as well with the teleport, so Q... He'll go down as well as Secret. Double kill. When you're doing this, you're, you're letting go of something else on the map. Let's see. This is a, a bit awkward for Aurora. Because Lornov is about to rotate. Corden's got the level 6 and with the damage from the timber, Oli will go down. Oh my god! Gonna have to yeah, I mean... <laughs> Alright, it's still gonna try and go the long way around to catch up to Boom. But it's a miss. bit more Whoa. difficult. Maybe the Wisdom, wisdom Rundle. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, it was all planned, and, and that's why he needs the blink to be able to act as that initiator. Good blink. Stampede. Blink's back. Gordon, though. He's got Secret all playing behind him. Boom's ready to go. Crystal's oh, gonna be in with the teleport, too, and both supports will die in the rivers again. This would be a big kill. Be a huge kill if they're gonna be able to get Crystal, so it looks like they will. Blink reveal is gonna be there from Jabs. It's a this one. time, the movement from Aurora will pay off. Rolling Thunder has to be used, but of course, a pretty low cooldown. Oh, Fu's in great position to be able to pop this. They get a glimpse of Boom, though. And yeah, she Jabs, feels... they don't even care about the Rubik. Look at them all towards, towards the Beastmaster. Recognizing the prize that Boom is. Panic is 150 gold away from the Lincolns. They're not actually going to go off. towards their triangle. Instead, they want Lauren off, and they're going to be rewarded. They jump in with the Wukongs. There's no messing around from them. They want to shut down the Pango without a hope of his escape. Now, Jabs is also getting hunted, but it looks like they will stop short of the T2 tower. On the bottom lane. Zero, zero, zero. Mid lane, Jabs. Jabs is going to be able to get the jump on to Poppy. But there's no more extra damage for Lornov's really going to be able to enter the fight now, but the Robo will hold the Rolling Thunder into place. Finally, Satanic, though. Looks to show up to the first team fight, but corden has got an arcane room. Let's see what the Timber Sword's going to be able to do. Waveform's still on cooldown for a little bit. Crystal's going to fly into the middle with a stun. Corden should get the damage yeah, in a couple escaped. of seconds. Satanic only gets some moments of space away. We're up at the high ground. A secret continue to chase, and another good fight for the boys on Dire. Well, joining in a bit too soon. I'm not sure you were talking about his advantage and how he has 50 CS above everyone else. Sure, but Puppy he might have to go back live. Puppy, I'm gonna be chased down. Q should be able to get the kill. Lorenov's gonna look to try and TP out as well. Puppy's somehow still alive. I don't know. Glimpse is gonna have the damage required to be able to kill him, but Oli does reveal his position. Oli, and they will get him as well. So you either need to. You probably just need to kill the Beastmaster first. Boom would be a great target. Crystalis isn't too bad either. Aggressively trying to take a T2 tower down with no one else but Arthur behind him. Maybe a little bit greedy there from Secret and Aurora. They will punish them. Let's see. Nope. Not gonna happen. Actually. Gleipnir. Should be able to time lapse TP maybe if he has it. No, 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 he will be. It's just the force. Mm -hmm. There's another fight going on, actually. Yeah, jabs. Can they get Oli too? Corden's got a haste to work with, and yeah, okay. There's not really much they have to worry about. They Lorenov. are taking it back. Okay, never mind. Lorenov comes crashing into the middle. King as well. We're going to look to try and turn towards Boom. Boom's got the raw stuff. He's going to be able to have an opportunity to cast it, but Satanic is doing way too much damage, and simultaneously, Arfu, oh, he's going to be chased down as well, but the raw doesn't connect onto the real Morphling, and Satanic, he can continue in pursuit. A secret, uh, just too aggressive once again. Nice attempt with the TP from Boom, but it'll be cut short. Lorenov finds a triple kill on the Pain Glear. Anyways, move Why mid. Not? Yep. Ripnir is there. Doesn't have the Ag Shard still. Oh, he's going to try and get in range to lay the Static Storm down, but the BKB is going to be up before him. Taking a fight without Lorenov is going to be pretty difficult, but the retreat is even harder. Boom. Holds jabs down. Secret. Strike back at the front of the T2 tower that should be able to get an objective as well off the back of this. Star sign talk. I was finding, I was trying to 
find a way to bring it back. I was struggling. Come on. Why, why do you care about what people think so much? We were... You? Look at the time lapse. Not to be. Wait, Ollie. Alright, that jump at Corden. A lot so of damage onto the tip of the start, but Jabs as well is in some danger. Crystalis. That's a big All kill. Right. Yeah. No Weaver, no you, you can't. This this should be a barracks and maybe a kill onto Lorenov now as well. Nice static storm. Oli, as soon as the cast was there from the Beastmaster, trying to comes. pour him up and up with a turnaround with the Boundless as well. Chrysalis, he's going to be okay. Has an opportunity to play. Roar is there though. And now the Roar inside the ring. Oh, that is a perfect way to use their spells together. And now Poppy as well is going to be able to catch another. They should have the damage before the time lapse. Will they? They will. Yeah. Boundless death from Chrysalis. Stops Q in the end. Interesting, uh, Yule is very well for Gordon. Can they? More jabs? Looks like they might. All right, Monkey gone. And now it's an all-out retreat. Puppy up to the high ground. Everyone else is going to Delta split away. Are they it's all just... going to... What? No. They, they will Delta split, yeah. Yeah, wrap around. <laughs> Let's see. Monkey. All important target is Boom. You got to deal with the Roar inside this team fight. It has been crippling for the Pangolier. And they're going to start on the Centaur and said, Jabs, he's got time to pop the BKB though. The stun walk, it was a little bit messy. And did, was it just, did they use Raw? No, they just used the Wukongs, but that is still a pretty big ultimate. 70 second cooldown. Ooh. Absolutely difficult for Crystalis to give vision with the BKB. I think to go yeah. through it. Oh, it's going pretty fast though, Puppy. An aggressive jump in, but Puppy is off the mark with the initiation. And now Lorinov's gonna have a decent roll oh, Thunder. It's at is. least enough to be able to get the kill, but Chrysalis just kills them all. The monkey wants revenge. Now they'll hold the roll for the Morphling as well as Chrysalis jumps down, claims his throne. And now Roche as well up for grab. Secret will reap the reward. Let's see what. And now Poppy might be able to get a catch. <gasps> Ooh. A bit awkward. After jump really deep inside the base, it's not gonna matter though. The spell's been successful. casted back and forth. A defensive Wukong just to help them reposition because Secret did commit pretty deep. Any glimpses? Storm cooldown. Mm, they have ages. They have 10 seconds. Oh, they're for going the in. Thunder. Oh, the Lincoln's getting popped now. Or is back up as well. Lornov's going to be cautious. They got the lasso as well from Puppy, but lucky that he jumped directly on top of Lorinov. Wasn't able to get the, the lasso before the stun. Oh, he's sitting here taking everything to the face and still being uh, full HP. I love their approach from Secret as well. Just put the Timber up front, let him... You know, 200 damage, one hit at a time. We'll get confirmation that they're at least smoke and now, Chrysalis, if he wants. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to break it, he wants to break the smoke, maybe. Boom is a decent target. Oh, stamping in jabs! He found an opportunity for the double stun! Is there going to be enough follow-up though? It's the best initiation they could have ever hoped for! And they're going to be rolled with the kill onto Boom. But with the outpost control, they can buy back and look to rejoin the fight. King in the back. As Aurora, I mean Jabs is going to be cut down. Satanic now is in some danger as well. Looking to play around with the, the Monkey King replicate. Puppies on the prowl. 35 more seconds on the ages though. I don't know. They're going to be able to get the buyback out of Jabs. Agshard used. Lorinov's okay. Chrysalis is falling low. Jabs as well with a jump in again. Multi-man stun will connect. Corden taking crits to the face as well. Chrysalis off the respawn will have BKB and the Wukongs if required. What's the call from Secret? They're going to need a way to be able to oh, protect no. him with a drag back. But Chrysalis, he wanted to go back in with the boundless set up like that. He was ready for the turn. Satanic got blown up. And now without the Morphling, the damage just is not there. It'll be Megas oh, and probably game. game. Well. Uh, they can maybe defend a bit with Roronoff, but there's also a roar to worry about. Creeps are up. Roar is there. Should die afterwards probably as well. Jabs again. I know damage. Really. Uh, it's just nothing. There's, yeah, there's nothing. There's, there there's is no absolutely damage. nothing they can do. They're defending, though. They're still spamming, but it's like these heroes just aren't falling. I really think this game is... 
Oh, that's still there. That's time left from Q. Black Nido is going to be able to stop Jans from entering the well. Now it'll be a 3v5. Both heroes without buyback, and yet they're going to call it secret. Just outclassing Aurora. I mean, we had... Early game was looking pretty even, but just the execution from, from Secret in some of the team fights. Much, much better. We're ready to go here for our second game, Team Secret. Off to a good start. A good performance from them. Put some one game away of being able to move over to the group stages. This, this man is always in position. Maybe out of position this time. And he's going to be able to surround him with the illusions. Plasma Field will get through a lot of them as well. And even Puppy is going to be free to rotate because he doesn't need a help bottom. I think he's dead. So Satanic will actually go down. Now Ollie's going to die as well. And look, I don't want to sound too pessimistic. Caster's oh, bottom. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Chrysalis? The Puppy? <laughs> Dead Jar. How did they do this? Yeah, was that a TP from Q that caught him off guard? I, I'm not sure. He, sometimes you feel a bit cocky when you're winning a lane as hard as he is. Top rune. Another one? Where is this? Afu oh, should go down. Nicely done. Another one. Oh, he's going to get the kill. We'll see. We'll see. Bottom lane, it does look like Aurora reading nice this, though. Nice Yeah, Chrysalis just ran way too far over the tower. And now Ol isn't going to be in a position as well to stop Puppy, Puppy on the escape and... Alone of this is what we were saying. This timber saw needs to be active, needs to get involved, and a double kill for the timber. Nicely done. They are beating a puppy, but and again, yeah. Oh, nice bait. Black hole from Jabs. Nice bait indeed. What? Are they? What? What's going on? Well, they were like it was going poorly, and this is outplaying them, and it's just such a night and day difference. And another kill for Timber. Just again, because we're seeing a lot of contest between either side for the, the power runes. He does get the shield one, right? Fuck yeah. Nice shards, though. Coil on top of the Macro Fire. They're going to split away and put themselves in a position where they were not burnt by fire. Nice, it's actually okay Shaker in the end. Q spot. now. Snowball in and off it yet. Just not in a good position. Boom's going to be able to come through with the backstab, though. So deals with Oli. It'll be a one for one in the end. Even Chrysalis is here as well, so the tower is under threat now. But on the other side, you uh, have enough damage in the timber, and then you have a blink BKB. Blink black hole, that is, sorry. Yeah. That's They're it. Jesus. Top lane, though. Maybe they see that boom stepped out a little bit too far forward. They do. And they're going to be able to jump in. I mean, Pop is playing on the outskirts to, to try and do his best to disrupt, but it's not going to matter in the end. Boom is pretty tanky though. These are a lot of spells that are required to get the kill and Secret are coming though. Corden's gonna be there to respond. Can Afu find BKB. an opportunity to be able to enter the fight? Lorenovs activates the BKB. He's okay. Pop with the TP out. That's cut short. There's Dude. a black hole in one. Ready with a jump and now they're gonna go as well. Jabs can he find black. the anchor connect oh, no. with the soul? Okay. It covers at least. It's still gonna be able to set up for both and the damage. It's not in question. Lorenov once again waltzes into the middle. Gets the combo out and down goes Secret. Q's not stopping. Smoke's gonna pop. Now the rest of the team in a position on the jaunt out to the left. He's actually gonna go to the right instead, but Jabs is ready. This time they're gonna have to damage. It looks like they might still... Wow. Are your chances into Naga? Like, AoE damage from Jairo is always good. Razor is also nice, but... <laughs> Pupan. Yeah, Pupan forced up the uh, the BKB from Jabs, popped out an invis and How does Boom play the team fights as well though in particular? As actually will hold that. They are mass teeping in. And yeah, they're not gonna hesitate with dropping the black hole. Oh, Fisher? Fisher's Fisher's oh, still on cool down, it's just gonna run in. Who cancelled the last second, but it doesn't matter. You are happy with the, the almost full duration uh, black hole that was used and now after as well as He's gonna be killed off in the tree. I mean, it looks like they want to recapture it. Boom is in they want to jump boom as well. That's a lot of damage already. Boom's probably gonna be forced to use the BKB if they can keep poking him. He does get the static link onto the, the Naga. Jab jumps in with the BKB as well. And with this, there's just no cancel. Boom. What? They don't have the damage? Boom hasn't gone down. Finally, he will. And also, the song and the banishment somehow keeps the Enigma alive as well. Ah, Lacking the damage now, Puck's gonna find the jump in, but 
Jabs is able to escape and now Aurora with the numbers advantage. If they want, they could chase him down. It looks like they will think twice, however. Okay, oh, the way. King's in. He's got, got Song. Uh, yeah, okay. I see you, Song. Oh, <gasps> Fisher, oh he's God, got. They got him. He's got Disperser. Maybe he can. Where's he going? Nah, this is not running anywhere. He's not up. There's just nothing he can do. Maybe he can get a kill. That is not to be. All right, Afu. See if they're going to be able to take a fight around the area. Well, enough will run in. X as well. Jabs ready with the black hole. That's the ideal target. And they've got the damage. Satanic is not enough. And now it's all up to Boom to turn the fight. Satanic's going to activate the song. The retreat is called. Or maybe they want to go back in instead with the beacon. It's all cool down. Is there an opening? Boom. Charging forward aggressively on the Razor. Caught him. He's going to get caught with the Hex. It's not going to matter in the end. There's no more extra fort. Now King... He's isolated, Ooh. but so is Boom. There's an opportunity to blow him up, and they will do so. And then Shadow Naga, Demon. they just don't have the damage without Chrysalis. Oh, it's going in and go Is it going to be big enough, though? It's nope. not. King, he's still alive. Caught him having a free fight at the moment, but once the Hex comes out, Lorinov will get on top of him. A U.S. Scepter to store some of the damage. He should still die afterwards, though, in Aurora. And they get him? Okay. Finally, finally. Once he's caught, that's it. Every man for himself. Uh, maybe a Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Corden actually buying Wind Waker. This is huge. Oh, ah, mid lane. He's got a set up. Okay. But just apparently has the gold for it and a BKB as well to run out away from Chrysalis. Yep. They have song they as well. Illusions. Yeah, that's the big thing, right? The song. Maybe after getting the caught in the trees as well. Chrysalis is also taking a lot of damage inside Roche. It's an early song. Let's see that. Fish is a little bit awkward as well. And Jabs is getting close to the team fight though. Black is it going to be close enough or can they take it without him? Boom. Trying to hunt down King. Stealing a lot of damage onto the Razor, but Jabs jump in. Three to Black, Black onto the Gyrocopter once again. The life still, it is just not enough. Afu might be able to get the kill onto Jabs, but they also killed King off to the northern side as well. Finally, a fight might go Secret's way. Unless Lorinov has something else to say about it. Hunts the backline, assassinates Afu. Roshu's pretty low, though. Yeah, they fought back on Shadow Demon. He is moving through the portal. Lorinov. He freed up the slot. Freed up the slot. Lorinov. Oh, yeah, got the beacon. He got it. No way, Lorinov. No way. Boom. Activates the refreshing, though. With another BKB for him to work with, Lorinov is vulnerable to this. It's going to expire pretty shortly. Lorinov will try and turn. Choose him with the buyback as well, but Lorinov he goes to the opposite direction of the task. Okay, Q is here. Sh uh, Shadow Demon as well. Fine, Shaker is back. Maybe Afu can stall this out long enough. No way. Ollie's going to go down as well. Corden, he's got another coil. He's got another coil with the damage the output. Ollie should drop down. And Lorinov is out. He wants nothing to do with his team fight. Somehow, secret. Holy even God. after losing the ages, Boom will not even die a single time. Might be able to get the. Oh, a little bit awkward there with the BKB. Hex is out. Jumps right, just black hole the puck instead, and he will do just that. Let's see what Chrysalis can do now. Uh, previously in all the fights, he's been worried about the black hole being solely cast on him. Meanwhile, Afu, he gets oh. kicked in the middle. It's not a welcome way to enter the team fight for the Earthshaker, and they get a buyback out of Corden as well. They see the sentry get dropped, and they smoke up together. Fuse in a good position to pop it. Not a bad pick off though for Secret. They're not going to be able to Shall get it though. Go. Ollie frustrating with the banishment. King's gonna try and enter as well, but the song sets up a jab, and it's a double black hole, and it's two incredible targets. He's ready to go for a second round if he can find it on to court him. But the buybacks are there, and this is such a heavy investment on Secret. They must get kills, and they need to do it now before the retreat. Yeah, maybe, maybe the Tusk in the corner is caught. Lorenov gets Puppy in the end as well. They do at least get Tusk. He has a buyback. Is that good or bad? He maybe take a side. Let's see. He actually is moving back. Barnov. Oh, ah, Fu just gets caught out of the tree lane. Okay, he's going to be okay for the moment. Now, Boom as well is locked onto his target. 
Nice fissure as well from downtown, but he's going to be able to get the blink away somehow. Oli. Protected against the damage. Lorna had some separation, but Oli will not be able to do so. Yeah, but these buybacks now, there's no BKB on uh, Razor. These buybacks now are actually massive. Song can catch the jump. Kicks back boom as well, straight into King's location. And look at the Nagasari just go to work. They don't even need the Black Hole to win the secondary team fight. Chrysalis will stand strong on his hill. Has he got the damage with the PKP? But once it's out, it's not going to matter. Now Jabs can be in. And that should be all she wrote for our second game. Multiple diebacks. Chrysalis is somehow alive, but it just does not matter in the end. They will surround him and kill him off. A buyback out of court him. He might be able to snipe the Enigma, but not even enough damage out of the park at this stage. All these diebacks was crippling to Corden's net worth and... Okay, not even one side, St straight for the throne. This is, yeah, this is how it should be done. GG. Yeah, game's over. Oh! All right! Let's go, we're getting game right. three! The left Say they're like, mid, Dragonite's right? probably yeah. one of the... Yeah, bro. How's mid looking? It's gonna be boring. Why are we looking at mid? Let's see. We don't want to leave top. That's Go on. why. Ah, <sighs> fool. Um, and vicious. <laughs> like his level ten talent is what makes the build work. They're going like in bottom lane. And yeah, they got Lorinov here just in case if they're going to be lacking some damage, which looks like will be the issue. Lorinov's able to snipe him. Or the stack oh, instead, be. and that's what we were bringing up before, right? That they took the hard, they could maybe now look at the Ancients afterwards and potentially some kills, Corden. In with the Pulverize, pretty decent, but there's no more extra fault. Now Corden's going to be holding to place, but the Frostbite nice might be... Nice Storm. I'm a great Static Storm, but just where is any extra that damage? Crystals will finally enter the fray. Boom's going to be in with the Teleport as well. They'll blow up Oli, but that is all they got, and maybe Aurora can go back in, Lorinov. He's still got plenty of resources to take the team fight. Waveform over the top from King. Got to look to try and deal with Puffy. It's very deep close to the Teacher Tower, but they're playing such an incredible job at this distance. And just making sure there's no dive. The communication is always there for them. If they step too far forward, they'll retreat as a team. It is going to be into a DD BKB Timber. And this dude is a big issue, but maybe Boom Screw damage. You see? All right. <laughs> That is a joke. That's the only an issue at all. Never mind. Yeah. A bit more with 1300. And now top lane jabs. I mean, they're going to be able to get the kill into the Dragonite too. So we we got a ball game. It was a little, a, a little bit sketchy. But these are some very yep. big kills for Secret, Corden and Poppy. They get on top of him. They have all his punch as well. Hopefully. He's finally able to escape. Can they rush with that? Should I have... Oh, observe what unfortunately they it's about everything. to expire yeah. though in 5 seconds. Comes back. No snowball Q. target. And yeah, looks like they should be able to get the kill into Q. Oh. Snowball will delay they it. They are blink. starting to come down on Aurora, but... Alright, he's going to be able to blink away. Now it's getting a bit more messy. They've got to commit and now Jab's going to be able to find the opportunity to jump over the top. Gordon's still trying to finish his food. Charge on forward, he'll be able to do so. Meanwhile, Ol is in some danger as well, but King has just sniped everyone on the back line with the flat cannon. Now Corden, he's got no boys to play with. Lorinov's gonna be able to catch up to him. Jabs as well nearby him. King's not done. Satanic's gonna be able to catch up to Crystalis, forcing out the BKB and... Even for Afu here, he has glimpse. Like, I don't know if you can escape this, sir. No way. There. Yeah, he's got it. Ah, uh, Repel. They're starting to tip in though, but the team is coming. Corden's gonna be perfect with the chain control. Nicely done with the shift kill with the onslaught, but here come the boys as boom. Okay for the moment, but the magic damage is just too much for him to handle without the BKB. Now Crystalis, I mean, he's trying to chase down the supports, but Aurora, they're cutting it to the south, and I mean, it's a buyback at a boom, but are they really gonna be able to get anything? Jump over the top of the tree like Jabs and Lauren off their own to Gyro. Chrysalis is gone. Now Boom as well. It's about to be a dieback for the Omni Knight is Aurora. I mean, they can oh, clean up. No hesitation. Oh. 
This secret can get nothing working for them. This Omni Knight is becoming a meme again. Or definitely became a meme again. Gordon jumping in. Nice kill. Nice kill. Keeps them still in the game. Uh, when it comes to Nutworth. Really good scan. They need to drop the ward on the high ground. We're giving the information instantly with the jump in as well, but it's only onto the Crystal Maiden. This is so much committed for just the support. The back. And meanwhile, their backline is just getting ripped apart. Crystalis, you've still got the BKB to work with, but they're going to chase him down. Warus punches on cooldown for a couple of seconds. He got so lucky with the timing. Did a lot, right? It looked like a zoning static score. Oh. Jump in before the attribute shift. Oh my lord, he almost went down now with a glimpse back. So he's got the BKB, but... Gordon, all up to him to be able to get the initiation. This time it's going to be on to Q. A little bit better. This is no one else. No one else was ready to fall off. And now Satanic, straight Chris to the back when he goes. He's just going to isolate the team so no one can protect Gordon. And Jara just falls under the damage. Now he's gonna turn into thing. he's gonna turn into Gyro and beef them. I don't know, man. This is they have to resort to some crazy tactics. Jump. Puppy is being hunted though. He's being hunted. Boom. Almost will he's be caught. caught. In fact, he will be caught. Jab's able to catch him just on the retreat back to the high ground. No buyback. Satanic is pumping out damage. 